Hi, in this video we are going to cover another strategy that is shared by the very popular YouTuber called Ghansham Tech. So we have uh, we have covered this strategy as shown in this particular video. So um, this video is by uh, Pushpraj Thakur and uh, in this video he shared one particular strategy where he is taking uh, certain trades. So I have tried my best to understand what exactly is the logic that he is trying, uh, trying to build out here and based on that I have tried uh, this same logic to be built on TradeTron. So this uh, this this uh, particular strategy has certain amount of discretionary elements which i may not be able to cover accurately so wherever uh, wherever the discretionary elements are i have taken uh, some of my own assumptions into picture and then build, build the strategy so without wasting a lot of time let's first understand what exactly is this strategy and then based on that we will see how exactly have we built the strategy on tradetron so the strategy has basically two uh, entry criteria the first criteria is that there has to be a gap. So we are basically looking at an open where there is a gap up or a gap down. So if there is a gap up, in that case we are going short and if there is a gap down, in that case we are going long and this is being checked in Bank Nifty spot charts. So we are uh, doing this particular check for the first, uh, first condition. Our second condition is that we have to look at the range of the um, of the 920 candle. So let's say if our 920 candle, which is this first five minute candle, if our first 920 candle is formed, after that we are marking the high point of that 920 candle and we are marking the low point of the 920 candle. Once we get the high and low point of the candle, we are then waiting for the price to break up above the high in case of a long trade and break down below the low in case of a short trade. This way we are able to take trades um, based on uh, these two conditions when when fulfilled we will take a trade. After we take our trade we have a uh, certain stop loss and exit conditions. So as per the logic he shared um, the, the exit conditions are as follows that we will first exit if there is a 200 point movement in our favor. So our target will basically be a 200 point movement. All right. Second exit is uh, based on the size of this 920 candle. So if our 920 candle is more than 150 points in size, in that case, we will have a stop loss of around 100 points. If our candle is less than 150 points, in that case, our stop loss will be around 70 points. So in the video, he's mentioned 70 or 80. I have considered 70 as a safer uh, option. So this is the logic for exit. Now, another logic for exit that he's mentioned is that in case after taking our trade, after we take an entry, if there is any candle which is the opposite color, which means that if we have taken a long trade and there is a red candle, in that case, we will uh, we will uh, consider that red candle. And along with that, if the price point, if the price falls 50 points from the high of the current candle, in that case, you are going to exit. So this is the second uh, logic for long trade. In case of a short trade, we are doing exactly opposite where we are looking at um, if we have taken a short trade and if there is a green candle and the price goes uh, 50 points from the low of, of the current candle upwards, in that case, we will square off our uh, trade. So these are our stop loss and target conditions that we have built. So now let's see how do we build the same logic on TradeTron. As usual, this is an intraday strategy. As usual, I will share the link for this strategy in the description along with this video link as well so that you can have a look at this video and you can test it for yourself. So I have my 920 uh, Gansham Tech uh, option buy strategy uh, visible now. In my entry conditions, I'll quickly walk you through the conditions I have built. So in my first condition, I have basically my gap up logic. So this was meant for the gap up. So I'm basically checking my close value of the minus one candle. So this checks the yesterday's close price. And now I'm checking if my yesterday's close value, is it more than the current open price plus 100 points. So this 100 points is what I have assumed. So in case there is a, uh, there is a gap, uh, in case there is a gap down of more than 100, 100 points, in that case, I will be taking an exit. My second condition is where I am checking for uh, for my range breakout. So for that, I have basically used my condition as if my LTP is more than the range uh, high, uh, in that case, I will be taking a trade. Now notice out here, I'm checking the timing 
as 915 to 919. This is because I want to make sure that I'm taking the first five minute candle. So whenever you use this ORB keyword, you make sure that you select the, uh, the minute before the minute that you are considering. So since I am checking 920, I have to take the minute as 919 out here. So that is one important thing you need to use in the ORB candles. Another uh, condition that I have added is that my time has to be more than 920. This is so that I make sure that uh, this, this, this strategy only executes after the 920 candle has been formed completely. Finally, my last condition is of my position detail. Position detail will make sure that I'm taking only one trade a day and after my target or stop loss has been triggered, it won't trigger another trade in my uh, strategy. Now, once I take my trade, I want to take a trade in basically uh, a call option. So I will be buying a call option. But since I want to take a long trade uh, in my call option, I will select a strike price which is slightly in the money. So in my strike price, uh, in the call option, I have selected round. So I will round off the bank nifty spot to the nearest level and I will minus 100 points from it so that I go in the money a little bit. Now, after doing this, I want to basically generate my runtime variables. So I will go to my runtime variables and in my runtime variable, I'm making a variable called long and I'm giving the value at the time of my entry price. So this LTP will be captured at the time of my entry. So I'll have a value of bank nifty at the time of my entry based on the spot value. After that, I will have my exit conditions. Now in my exit conditions, I will have um, my first target. So if you see this thing is basically my target where I am checking if the LTP is more than the uh, more than the entry price plus 200. So if I'm getting 200 points on bank nifty movement, then I will square off my trade. Second logic, if you see out here, is the logic that I am checking for my um, for my uh, for the num for the size of the 920 candle. So using this absolute, I am basically checking uh, the size of my 920 candle. So in absolute, I'm using a math operation. My math operation is now making a subtraction. So it is checking the high and ORB low of the 920 candle. So based on the high and low difference, I'm getting to know if it is more than 150 points or is it less than 150 points. So if my uh, if my um, uh, difference is more than 150 points, in that case, I'm keeping a stop loss of uh, 100 points out here. And if the difference is uh, less than 150 points, in that case, I'm keeping a stop loss of um, around 70 points as shown out here. So this is the logic for my uh, for my uh, stop loss. Now, finally, I uh, I have another stop loss based on the technical indicator, which is that if in case I have a uh, I have taken a long trade and I have a uh, I have a red candle, and if the price falls 50 points below the high of the current candle, in that case I will I'll basically be taking an exit from my uh, strategy. So this is my exit condition. Now, once my exit is taken, I'm basically uh, I'm deleting my runtime variable which is I'm making EP long as number zero so that it doesn't interfere for the rest of my logic. So uh, by doing this, I have pretty much built my long conditions. Now my set two is my set for my short trade. Uh, in my set two, I'm basically looking for a gap up. If there is a gap up and after that, if the low is broken, I'm taking a short trade. So you can have a look at the conditions in detail from the duplicate link in the description. Now, uh, again, once my once my short uh, once my short trigger happens, I'm buying a put. The put option will basically be 100 points in the money. So I have used round and I've added 100 points so that I'm going uh, I'm going one strike uh, one strike below the uh, at the money strike uh, in my put condition. Again, I've generated a runtime variable. Runtime variable is called EP short for my short trade, which is capturing the price of my entry uh, in Bank Nifty. Um, now, finally, I have my exit conditions. Exit conditions are pretty much exactly the same uh, where I'm looking at a 200 point movement in my favor. If I have that, then uh, uh, then uh, I will be exiting or I'm looking at my 150 points. So either I have my one, uh, either the candle is 150 points. Uh, it's bigger than 150 points in case uh, in such a case I have, let's say, a 100 point stop loss. If it is less than 150 points, that case I have a 70 point stop loss. And finally, I have my uh, exit condition, which is based on my technicals. If uh, if there is a uh, if there is a after taking my short trade, if there is a green candle, and after that, if the price goes uh, 50 points above the low of that of of the current candle, in that case, I will be exiting the trade.
so that is the logic that i have tried to build out here now my universal exit condition is a simple square of at 315 uh, and uh, it is a square of all my positions since this is an intraday strategy on my uh, on my advanced settings very important i have selected reactivate after as 6 hours so that the next day automatically condition checking will begin condition will check continuously so that i have the fastest possible execution and i select my take trades after 1 second after the market opens and the last trade will is possible only in the la uh, only um, 15 minutes before so this is my uh, last condition and i've added my capital requirement as 50000 um, uh, which i don't think would be the case but just 50000 including a buffer in case of a drawdown so um, this is the strategy that i have built based on the gansham uh, tech 920 bank nifty uh, strategy that i have found out here if you like this video do put a thumbs up and uh, share this video with your friends um uh, uh, feel free to drop in uh, your suggestions on what we should cover in future videos it helps us a lot um when you do so uh, so that we can we can know what to cover in future sessions so thank you very much uh, have a nice day bye